Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I thought I would give you guys an update on my cold frame, my heated cold frame, how it's going with our seedlings, which plants we have started and so on. Let's take a look together. The cold frame has really worked well. Remember I have this double layer plastic on there and it has really helped to insulate this. Right now the ground is still frozen, the sun is starting to thaw it, but um, everywhere around the trees and the shade and stuff it's still frozen. We had negative two degrees Celsius last night. And um, in here we have a thermometer, it is already 19 degrees Celsius though, so the sun heats it up fairly quick in the mornings already and um, even in these temperatures it's only going to be around freezing today maybe a couple degrees above but I, I have to open it up already because the sun will heat it up so much and then we have the frost guard in there that um, keeps it at about 8, 9, 10 degrees um, during nighttime and of course it has used a little more electricity now um, that it has been colder. Some of you guys have said that I should put some black tanks with water in there. Well, this thing doesn't really have the size for that. You don't have room to put big enough tanks in. And then if you have a cloudy day, those tanks don't warm up either. So the heating here is minimal, just to keep it above freezing. So my tomato plants and all of that, that they don't get damaged. Let's take a look at it. I have to go get the hose ice free so I can water it because today the sun will really warm it up and dry it out as well. This is also frozen right now. I'm gonna thaw that and then I'm gonna show this to you guys. Um, oh, you got wet. <laughs> it worked even though it was frozen. <laughs> anyway, let me clean up the lens. Wow. I got this here um, because I can water the plants, the bigger plants with this, but then it has a setting that just makes this mist um, that I can water the little seedlings with. So that's um, that's a very, very nice thing. So now it's early in the morning, it's still very cold, and this water is really cold because it comes from our well. Ideally, this, um, later this season, I wanna have water from the lake that's um, already warm. It's gonna be perfect for the plants. But right now I'll just water this and then it'll warm up um, during the day. Let's take a look first at the plants, how they're doing before I water. So here you have our leeks. Um, they're really nice individual plants. Um, you have a different variety over here. This one is gonna be harvested throughout the winter. Um, then you have um, some root, um, root celery here, which we use for fond and sauces, and you can even put that in mashed potatoes. It makes the most incredible mashed potatoes you have ever tasted in your life. Then here are tomato plants. They're just doing beautifully. And it's time to put these into bigger pots. But I need more, um, I need much more um, soil that I can make big soil blocks with. These were some kale plants that I had just started to see how the soil blocks work. Some salad that has to be put either in the garden very soon now, or into uh, different soil blocks. Over there, some spinach that didn't really work out. Those were old seeds. Actually, now they're starting to sprout more of them. And here we have 
other celery, normal celery and the rest of the tomato plants. Um, and here you see jalapeno plants and bell pepper plants right here. Oh, they're pretty. And right there, bell pepper plants. Now this, uh, this cold frame is gonna be completely filled up. I, I need to make at least 10 trays of these um, 50 by 50 millimeter soil blocks and this whole cold frame will be filled up eventually. So here we are inside and um, here I have some zucchini plants and watermelon plants, then some kohlrabi, cauliflower, this is some salad or it's called lettuce in English. Um, just different different uh, plants, red cabbage, white cabbage, broccoli, and um, here I seeded some red onion. Up here is some arugula, some more red onion. Now all of those um, started plants from seed there that you saw inside, all the different cabbage plants and kale plants and all of that, we started all of them in these tiny soil blocks. You know, um, I think they're 19 by 19 millimeters. And not all the seeds sprouted, as you saw. And now, um, this week, we have to make s these bigger soil blocks um, with this um, shape pressed into them that these soil blocks will fit in them. And then we'll really fill up this cold frame with those. Then, um, very soon here now, I'm going to plant the onion and all the garden beds need to be made ready now. Um, there's still a lot of work to do there. And I also will have to get some more compost material that we haven't been able to produce on the farm and um, layer it on the beds. As you know, we always try to do a no-dig approach on all of that. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just going to prepare the garden beds and then layer the compost on there. And then I hope that very soon I can start to put the first salad plants out there and um, cover them with the um, fleece fabric. Now these soil blocks you can water a lot. You can pretty much over water them because um, they are on the boards and they are aerated in between them. They will air dry very, very well. And if you don't water enough, uh, obviously you get stressed plants and they will shoot or something. Yeah, I really, really need to transplant these tomato plants here. So now you see I have these little plants, I'm just going to switch it now to mist and then it's really spraying out this fine water, it's going to be very good for these sensitive plants here. And the amazing thing with a cold frame compared to a greenhouse is that you just open this up and they're very easily exposed to the full UV light and to some wind and um, you can really decide how much exposure to the real weather and real climate you want them to have. These soil blocks um, have so much organic matter in them that um, they hold the water. I, I only have to water here every other day right now, even though this is uh, like 20 degrees Celsius during the daytime. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, really thankful for um, everything that that has happened with this channel already. We started this at the end of October last year, and I'm just really, really blown away and blessed by all the support and that so many people find this interesting and helpful. What keeps us going is also, you know, that we see that it starts to generate some income for us but but also 
um, just people writing saying I, I learned so much from you guys so that's that's really cool hope to bring out a lot of interesting videos this week so stay tuned for that um, hope you have a have had a good and happy Easter and get a good start in this week hope that the spring is coming wherever you are except for I guess fall is coming or is there or winter is coming um, if you're down under but um, thanks for watching again. Have a good week.